Greetings Photoshop fans, I am Justin Z and I'm going to give you a brief walkthrough of all the tools you can use on Adobe Photoshop CS5. The tools in Photoshop are the bread and butter of the program. You will use these to do just about everything. I'm going to give a really basic overview of each tool, but be sure to check the annotations listed to see more details on each one. First on the list is the Move tool. You will use this to move around images and layers. Next is the Marquee tool. This tool allows you to select portions of your image with either a rectangular shape or elliptical shape and make changes or selections. Next is the Lasso tool. This gives you greater freedom when selecting portions of your image to manipulate or change. The tool comes in three parts, regular lasso, polygonal lasso, and magnetic lasso. Next is the Quick Select tool. This has the same function as the lasso, but it will select portions of the image for you. There are two versions of this tool, which include the magic wand. Next is the crop tool. This allows you to take a piece of your image and delete the surrounding parts, which conforms to a new canvas. There are subtools involved, which include the slice tools. These are similar to the crop tool, but in a much more complicated and powerful way. The eyedropper tool will sample a color of your image and allow you to use that color for multiple purposes. The color sampler tool is similar to the eyedropper, but it allows you to sample up to four consecutive colors. The ruler tool allows you to take measurements of the image for reference in multiple forms of measurement. The notes tool allows you to add notes to your images and layers, providing good reference for a number of situations. The count tool allows for a numerical labeling system that provides ease of use for many different possibilities. The healing tools are very powerful and allows you to make subtle changes to your image for great effect. The patch tool is similar to the healing tool, but allows you to select an area of interest. The red eye tool is pretty self-explanatory. It gets rid of red eye in pictures taken with flash. The brush tools allow you to paint and draw in multiple ways on your canvas. The clone stamp tools are very powerful, allowing you to copy other pieces of the image and paste them into a desired spot. This is really useful for touching up faces or skin. The history brush tool allows you to effectively unpaint. More on that later. Eraser tools do exactly what they say, but have plenty of options to make them incredibly useful. Gradient and paint bucket tools allow for easy color fills. The paint bucket will fill the image with one color, while the gradient will range in multiple colors across a spectrum of your choice. Blur, sharpen, and smudge tools have subtle effects that can be used for aesthetic and artistic purposes. Dodge, burn, and smudge tools are digital counterparts of the photographic process, allowing for effects that can add substance to your image. Pen tools are very powerful, allowing options to trace smooth edges along an image for manipulation and masking. Text tools seem simple, but has a lot of powerful applications. The selection tools are created specifically for direct selection of images, layers, and paths. The 3D object tool is an extremely powerful application, allowing you to use objects in a 3D environment, including previously created 3D objects from other programs. The 3D camera tool works the same way, but allows you to manipulate your 3D environment. The hand tool allows you to move around your canvas if you are zoomed in. And finally, the zoom tool does exactly what it says it does. At the bottom are two color options that allow quick access to using colors for multiple uses, such as the brush or paint bucket tool. You can easily switch between the tools with the small swap arrow just above the colors. And to finish it off, there is a little button called edit mode. You can either edit in normal mode or quick mask mode. I will go over the difference in a separate video. Phew, okay, that's all. Go back to any point in the video and click on the annotation to get a more detailed look into a tool of choice. Thanks for watching and be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below and send any requests about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com.